the big organ chord, just that rich chord as as the peak of that the kind of fever pitch of that top note that and you get this big dramatic from the organ. Ooh, that's chills. Welcome to my palace, champagne in your chalice. Even I'm not single forward of me, tell that a voice so we can to deep rolling around the world. Hello everyone, what is going on? My name is Anubi Warrior and welcome back to my K-pop reaction channel and welcome back to my new East reaction. Um This isn't uh this is a bit of a, a bit of a weird one, um, because this is not necessarily my last New East reaction, uh of course, but um this is my reaction to New East's last release as far as we know, um, as this is sort of a goodbye album from them. Uh, so, yeah, uh, New East is a group that, well, first let me just say, uh, this MV, I didn't see an English title, uh, but the Korean title is, uh, Dashi Bon, Dashi Bon, I think, which is like Spring Again, or Again Spring, um, at least by direct translation, so, uh, I guess maybe sort of a new beginnings, this is the end for us, but you know, it's it's please support the members in their own thing and we're moving on and we hope you're able to move on and um, I'm guessing it's something to that effect. Uh, it's rare whenever a group gets a proper goodbye album and uh, I wish it was something that more groups got. Obviously it doesn't feel good ever, but uh, considering the journey New East have been on and how close they were to disbandment pre-produce, um, and how they were able to weave that into their concept in the nights and everything. Um, that was a really, really fun and memorable kind of journey for me to go on, was when I went through all the New East MVs, through the storyline, and what that meant for them as a group and everything like that. And, um, yeah, my first reaction to New East was Bet Bet, and that was, like, mind-blowing to me. Um, and then when I found out they were a second gen group, it's like, wait, what? <laughs> They've been around for so long, uh, and that song I felt was so different, and I don't know, ever since then I've just really enjoyed a lot of New East music, their releases have been really good, and it, it's kind of weird to say goodbye, um, to a group that, I, I don't know, it just, you know, it's like, I guess as a reactor especially, so much of what I do is kind of looking at the calendar and going through, like, oh, what comes out this week? Okay, I have this release on this day, I better set my alarm for 1.30 in the morning or whatever. Um, and I think it gets lost on me sometimes, and I take for granted that, like, oh, any of these artists could just not be here tomorrow. Um, and New East is a group that has been a constant presence in the uh, song festivals and award shows I've reacted to. They've always shown up and done cool sets and done great live performances. Um, I've reacted to some of their albums and love them. Uh, and just, it seems like every few months they just pump out a release and it's really good. Um, and so it's it'll be really weird to just not have New East comebacks happening. Um, so anyway, this is kind of my, I don't know, not goodbye. Because obviously I'm assuming the members will continue to do things and uh, hopefully successfully so. Um... And who knows, maybe a reunion or something will happen. But, uh, yeah, this is this will be a weird video. So, hope you guys enjoy. And uh, let's get into New East, uh, New East Goodbye. Dashi Bom. Uh, it's possible this is the last ever group New East MV. Um, obviously, hopefully not. But, uh, yeah, it's best to consider that potential, I think, as, as we uh, watch this and listen to this. So, let's go. Ten years, man. Barely ten, but they made it ten. That's uh. Ah. Oh. The snapping coming in already. The dramatic piano. This was made for feels. Oh, the vocal tagging in is always just that. Just ah. Oh. Oh. oh, cool. Okay. 
it's it's so it's not gonna be just like a ballad. It's like a peppy, um, a little bit more energy, a little bit more upbeat, which is fitting, I think. It's it's like a you know it's it's like a sad banger. It's not just a sad goodbye song or an emotional goodbye song. It's like an emotional banger. You gotta go out with a bang too. The um, softness of the vocal quality is something that I've noticed a lot with Nui's. <laughs> the like light rays and the feathers. This is a pretty music video. Keep our spring forever. Oh, that's spring again. Okay, so I was like maybe kind of a little right, uh, but I didn't think of it in that context. It's to keep the spring going. It's more like spring eternally, I guess, when they say spring again. Um, interesting. Oh, pretty vocals. Always pretty. Always pretty. Oh, the piano tagging in the back too. Interesting this little pop sound. This is a really pretty song and a really pretty music video. With the big organ chord, just that rich chord as as the peak of that the kind of fever pitch of that top note that and you get this big dramatic from the organ. Oh, that's chills. That is that is Oh, and it even looks like a pipe organ. That's really cool. This looks like a pipe organ. Like the little multicolored things. That's really cool. I didn't even notice that before. Oh, listen to this. Oh, that chord. Oh, the chord. The vocals are so pretty. Those, those floaty just... Just, oh, that's so just heartfelt. And so just, oh, oh, dude. Oh! Wow. Oh, and it's a little... 
Little baby seedling growing, or seedling's a tree, right? No, that's a sapling. I'm dumb. Anyway, the little baby plant growing from a seed, and, and we get like a quick time lapse when spring comes again. That's, that's nice. That's really nice. That's a really, that's a really pretty, like, final promoted song. I think that's a really, really pretty song. I think it's a really special song. Um, yeah, I, I, that's great. I think that's great. Um, you know, it's not, like, my favorite New East song ever, but it's, it's really not supposed to be. It's supposed to be both a goodbye, but also a hey, this isn't the end type song, right? Um, so yeah, I, I hope, obviously, for, for the sake of New East, and for the sake of me, because I like New East music a lot, um, that hey, maybe one day there is a circumstance where they're able to have a reunion and, and do like a, you know, a reunion album of some sort or something. Um, but uh, for the meantime, I think this is a beautiful kind of gift, close out for fans. Um, I think the vocals are gorgeous, the video is gorgeous. The instrumentation is so pretty, and the message is beautiful. Um, the visual representation of the dirt and the sand, and then we come all the way back, back to the end of the flower pot on the ground, and kind of the symbolism of that. Um, and we even get like a little bit of the New East W stuff, right, with like the compass being really important. Um, although I think it's a stopwatch here, but this visually reminded me of like their concept a little bit. I don't know if that's on purpose or not. Um, but just, it wouldn't surprise me if it's kind of a little, hey, you, you know, remember we did this and this and this? Um, it, it's so pretty with the snapping, with the floaty vocals. All of these scenes are lit brilliantly. And I love the energy it still carries for being an emotional goodbye type song. It's a really special sound. Um, but it doesn't give up what makes New East New East, I think. Which, to me... And I've, I've not heard all of New East music, but the, the sort of things I've noticed consistently are just how freaking pretty the vocals are. And there's always kind of... Um, there's always kind of this this feeling of I don't know this cohesiveness to their sound um, that I think comes through no matter what their concept is. You could probably show me ten random songs I've never heard before, and I could tell you all of them are New East songs, and they might sound very different from each other, be in different genres. It's, it's something about their vocal presence. It's something about the kind of way their songs are written as well. Um, and I think this song still has that, which is important. Um, let me know if I'm wrong or if people disagree with me about that not necessarily being New East thing. Um, but uh, yeah, I think this is a beautiful, beautiful kind of ending for now. And uh, I, I wish all these guys the best uh, in whatever they're gonna go do or continue to do now as soloists um thanks for entertaining people like me for 10 years um i don't know why i'm getting emotional because you know i mean i like new east a lot but they're not <laughs> i mean i don't to be honest with you i don't even 100 percent have the names down at this point um but uh I, I guess it's just the idea of uh of a group that's been been together for 10 years been doing this, been providing, you know, fans that are so dedicated um, with consistent music despite the ridiculous hardships. Um, I mean, I, I cried, <laughs> I reacted to their documentary and I cried. Um, the, like, YouTube uh, fan-made documentary, kind of about their story and everything. So I, I guess uh, I am pretty connected to New East. Um, Nowhere near as connected as those two that have been around since, like, Face, of course. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is a... I think this is a gorgeous goodbye. I think it's a beautiful goodbye. Um, and I hope that they all continue to find success. And that they're able to, uh, do what they want to do going forward. And, uh, that maybe this isn't the end forever. That would be... That would be, uh...
that would be great. So thank you so much for watching my video. Uh, my name is the Newbie Warrior. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. And please remember to stay newbie. Thank you so much to everyone who's chosen to support me this month on Patreon with special appreciation going to Sosko Reacts, Jalen Raybon, Gyoti Sharma, Muse Ribbons, 42 Ariadna, Atsushi Ray H, Wookbook, Daniel Reigns, Mushroomy, and Lucky7Gen.